my name is Grace Schmidt, and I am a high school science teacher. And I'm Laura Gretton Cord, and I'm general counsel for Mars Supermarkets. How did we meet? Well, we lived in the same neighborhood. We did. Um, and I think it was you and Susan Shaler were riding on a bike. And I think when I moved into the neighborhood, they already lived there. And I think that's when I remember my first connection. And we also had home ec together. We had home ec together. And we made those ugly sundresses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did. <laughs> went to high school together. Went to Ben Davis together. We had classes together. Yes. We had. Biology. We have okay. biology together in this in very this, room. In this very room, we have biology. I was diagnosed in um, 2002. So I broke the head of uh, the bones of the radius and the ulna off in a horseback riding accident. It had nine screws put in and started having an allergic reaction to the screws. So about a month after the surgery, I started having these um, symptoms of, of complete apathy, tired, um, night sweats, and fevers, and went to the doctor, and um, there and then I was diagnosed with chronic myeloid leukemia. They sent my blood work stat to Methodist, and they sent me to Methodist um, from the doctor's office. Gleevec had been released from clinical trials, and they started me on Gleevec. Two years and a month later, I went out of remission. They said that your best option, we feel like you, we want you to go through a bone marrow transplant. I'd heard the word bone marrow transplant, but I had no idea of what a bone marrow transplant was. And I don't think anyone really does until you go through it. It was so very difficult. I remember when you called me to tell me that you had to have a bone marrow transplant. And, I mean, I was just so worried that I was going to lose you. Although I visited Grace while she was in isolation over at IU Medical Center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Sunday night. I remember she came many, many times, but I remember one particular Sunday night. I didn't watch Sex in the City, and if she was going to stay, that we had to watch Sex in the City. <laughs> but seriously, it was, it was very painful for me to go and see my dearest girlfriend in the world living a total hell. She had fallen, and I had not seen her yet, and she had fallen while getting out, out of her bed. And because her platelet count was so low, she bruised so easily. And so I remember the side of your face was all bruised. So not only did she not have her hair, and she was sick, but then her face was just bruised. And I thought, my God, what else could this disease do to her? To have a friend that goes, walks through trials with you is a gift that you can't put any measure on. And she has just been the most wonderful, supportive friend. And for her to be connected to an organization that give so much support in so many ways to cancer patients, specifically leukemia patients. It's, it's just that extra special measure of friendship. Well, it was easy to do. Um, I just want to help other people because I feel like I've been blessed because, well, because you're still here with me. I just feel blessed by God and to be able to um, give this to, to give up my time to other people, um, it's so very easy. And I love you. And I love you too. <laughs>